praise the Lord, hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2022, on this month of November 5th, Saturday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, to give God the glory of a Heavenly Father for every wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last full morning, our Lord protected us. Can you lift your hand and tell the Lord, thank you, how good our God is, how faithful our God is. Last full morning, wonderfully our Lord who led us for your grace and mercy. Tell Him, thank you, Father. Thank you. In all our needs, he was with us and led us. That good God, tell him thank you. He who blessed all our meetings, tell him thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Last night for the good sleep he gave us, tell him thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. With good health, happiness. This morning, the Lord who woke us up for his mercy and grace. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Father, we tell you, thank you. Thank you, Daddy, from the depth of our heart. This morning, Jesus, for victoriously leading us. Thank you. In all our needs, be with us, Father. Thank you, Jesus, from all dangers, problems, difficulties, diseases. You delivered us and you inscribed us in the palm of your hand. This morning, wonderfully for leading us. For the faithfulness of my Father, we tell you, thank you. Abba, Father, thank you. When we remember your mercy upon us, we tell you thank you. When we remember your grace upon us, Father, we tell you thank you. Abba, Father, when we remember your love towards us, we tell you thank you because you gave your only Son for us. Not because you saw something in us, Father, but because of your love towards us that you gave your Son into this world for us. Your Son, you made him to be a public sacrifice on the cross. All this, Father, is because you remembered your love towards us. Hallelujah. For that we tell you, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Father. And remember your great love, Father. We tell you, thank you. Thank you, Daddy. For your grace, thank you. For your mercy, thank you. Every day for sustaining us. For your mercy and grace, thank you. Abba, Father, this morning we worship you, we praise you. The psalmist is saying in Psalms 146, Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. Do not put your trust in princes, nor in a son of man, in whom there is no help. Hallelujah. Happy is he who has the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Yes, this morning, who has got hope in the Lord, they will be blessed. They will travel through new ways. They will enjoy new blessings. The blessings that no one has seen, they will enjoy and receive it because those who have got hope in the Lord only can move forward in this world. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, for this wonderful morning, thank you. Last full morning, you protected us, Father. Thank you. You who blessed us yesterday's meeting, Father, thank you. For the good sleep you gave us last night, thank you. For making us to wake up this morning with good health, Father, thank you. Daddy, this morning, under your wings for protecting us, for your faithfulness, Father, we tell you thank you. This morning, for holding your hand and leading us, for your grace and mercy, thank you. Father, we pray for all who are hearing this voice today. Daddy, in the name of Jesus Christ, those who are suffering from sickness, let them be delivered. Let them be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them receive good health. Father, especially those who have got infection in the eye and those who are worried where they cannot open their eyes and are in difficulty. This morning, in the name of Jesus Christ, let them be healed. Those who are suffering from hemorrhoid, suffering from uh, constipation in the name of Jesus Christ be healed this morning let your children enjoy complete peace and rest and thank you Jesus every ulcer in the name of Jesus Christ be healed amen every lump that was set is there cyst let it from the next scanning disappear right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of God come upon them. Every infection in the blood in the name of Jesus Christ be healed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the blood be cleansed. Let the platelet count be normal. Miraculous healing for sending to your children. We tell you, thank you, Father.
Lord Father, we pray for those who can't hear properly in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them start hearing normally, supernatural hearing. Lord Father, thank you for giving it unto them, for all your blessing, for all your works, for all that you're doing for us. Father, we tell you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the way you're leading us. Thank you. Further ahead for protecting and preserving us. Thank you. We give you all the glory, Daddy. Especially, O oh Father, we pray for those who are going to financial difficulty, those who are having trouble at their workplace. We give them all into thy hands. Father, you bless them, Jesus. In all the needs, your grace for being with them, we tell you, thank you. For the way you are leading all of us, thank you. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we make this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. Let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. Today further, we are going to meditate from the book of Luke, chapter 1, 45. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. Let us read that again. Luke chapter 1, verse 45. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. We know. In the book of Luke chapter 1, it is a supernatural chapter because a supernatural dealing of the Lord is what is being seen and shown over here. So that is what in this, in this chapter, verse number 6, And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinance of the Lord blameless. But they had no children because Elizabeth was barren and they were well both advanced in years. So it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his Lord fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord, and the whole multitude of the people was praying outside at the house of incense. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. Hallelujah! Over here, we can see a great intervention of the Lord over here. When it is concerned to Zechariah, he is a prayerful man, but he does not have any further expectation, because he is old now, and then to, con to have a child, that itself is not gone through his mind. That is why when the angel said that all this will happen, how shall I know this? For I am an old man and my wife is well advanced in here. What we can understand over here is, with our God, nothing is impossible. I am old. I cannot do it. I am helpless. God, at any time, to do anything. He can do it. Always remember, we are serving not man, but we are serving not anything or anyone else, but we are serving the one who made the heaven and the earth, the one who creates impossible from possible, the one who raises the dead. He is our father. So in any age, in any situation, in any lackingness, to do miracle, our Lord is faithful. So this same angel Gabriel also comes before Mary and tells her, Hallelujah, and then goes and tells her that I am in this manner, said that you will conceive, the power of the Almighty God will come upon you and you will conceive a son. And then, what is it being said over there? Mary said, I am your servant, let thy will be done, let the will of God be done in my life. Mary said and pronounced it, I am thy servant. And then there is a scene between Mary and Elizabeth. And when they meet one another here in the greetings of Mary, John in the womb of Elizabeth is filled in the Holy Spirit. And in verse number 45, Mary said to Elizabeth, Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told from the Lord. Many times when we hear many things, we doubt. Probably in the midst of a meeting, the man of God, when he says a message to you, or when the God speaks to us, we might think, will this happen? Will this really come forward? This is the reason many a times our blessings are being delayed. 
but then if you believe it is the lord who said it it will happen and without without wavering in faith if you believe to them the lord is saying they are blessed he or she this morning as you hear this message nothing is impossible for our god whatever is your concern to give you the solution of a can, god can do it probably a promise or a word or a message that you heard through a message a word of god that was given to you by a pastor or a man of god or probably through a dream that you receive a word of god or through your prayer a word of god that god give it to you or when you read the word of god the message that you received from the word remember nothing is impossible for god seeing those who believe god told them or called them as they are blessed so this morning the promises of god the word of god without any doubt like abraham believe to abraham it was said you will have great descendants but the word of god says he was old his body also now cannot do anything it was beyond to bear a child but then without wavering in faith he blessed and believed the god it is these people that are going to see supernatural blessing it is these people who are going to get things from the lord how much of a bad your situation is how much of a smelling your situation is believe that god can do it don't speak words of unbelief in case even if it is thought in your heart don't speak it out but say my lord will do it my lord will perform miracle there is nothing impossible for my god and in this manner move forward and let the lord bless you abundantly with his word in the name of jesus christ we will grow we will increase we will multiply and we will be great we are blessed we are really blessed we are permanently blessed and highly favored god bless you god bless you god bless you today if the lord said something to you to fulfill it our lord is a mighty and powerful god believe that in a faith with ara without unwavering and let the lord bless you abundantly this day God bless you God bless you God bless you today hallelujah